The country feeling the most heat these days is Greece. Today, the Prime Minister signaled he's ready to accept most of Europe's demands in a desperate bid to secure a new bailout deal. But as Stuart Greer reports, Germany's leader and others say there will be no deal until a Greek referendum on Sunday. Desperate seniors jostled and shoved each other to get inside one of the few banks that briefly opened its doors. It may be chaos, but it was a chance for pensioners without bank cards to make withdrawals following bank closures on Monday. I don't have a lot of money, says 62-year-old Nicholas Agonatos, but I'm here because I need cash to buy medicine. With his country already defaulting on one debt payment and ATM withdrawals limited to 60 euros, Greece's embattled prime minister took another gamble in a bid to secure a new financial lifeline. Alexis Tsipras urged Greeks to give him a mandate to negotiate a better bailout deal by voting no in a referendum on Sunday. The creditors are blackmailing you by calling on you to vote yes to all their demands, he said, without any prospect of coming out of this crisis. Overnight, though, Cyprus's tone was softer. He sent a letter to creditors asking for concessions. In return, he'd accept the conditions of an aid package they offered last weekend. But German Chancellor Angela Merkel said there would be no new negotiations until the referendum. And her finance minister, who is losing patience with Cyprus, said the aid deal being voted on expired anyways and is now off the table. With talk stalled, Greeks are growing increasingly anxious. The country's economy is slowly grinding to a halt. We live like slaves. I have not eaten from yesterday. There are still lots of tourists. They are Greece's lifeblood, who bring in cash and whose foreign credit cards are still accepted. We brought a lot of uh, euros uh, from home and then we have safety bags at the hotel. So we uh, brought all the cash that we need. But travel agents on the Greek island of Corfu say the number of visitors has dropped by 20 percent. People are really uh, concerned about what is going to happen. They don't know what to do. The Greek opposition is now calling for Prime Minister Tsipras to resign as the country slides deeper into financial chaos. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.